Oh, thought you might have done a runner. Done the washing up. I could have gone. Yeah, I know. It's good that you didn't, I think. You wonder why I'm so messed up with a mother like you? Here we go, blaming everyone else. Not everybody else, just you. You know, I'm not even blaming you. I'm asking you to believe in me. Yeah, well, I would like to, Cassie, but you do make it very, very hard. You... No, just you keep that mouth buttoned up. Oh! <laughs> I not expected to see you today. Well, not for a while. Yeah? Yeah, well, I'm glad you've come, because I do need to Yeah, well, talk. it's Cassie I've come to see, actually. So, um, would you mind giving us a bit of space, please? Thank you for hearing me out. Like I said, I, I wanted to see you before, but Mum... Why now? I know. I, I should have been honest with you when I saw you the other month, but... I chickened out. No, I mean, why now? You've had 40 years to find me. I, I was living in South Africa with my boyfriend. He was very controlling. He didn't want me to have contact with people. He, he monitored my oh, calls. Is that my dad? But... No. Who is my dad? I don't know. You must know. I don't, honest. I, I was in such a state back then. I, I, I was on the gear. I was, I was sleeping round. I was even... I've been clean for years. By the time I came back to England, I settled in Bristol and I wanted to find you, but I didn't know where to start. And of course, I didn't know you were back in touch with me mum by then. Not that she'd have told me anyway. You can't just keep blaming her. Oh, she's a big part of the problem. Yeah, well, she's not the one that left me. She did. She left you outside the police station. Yeah, to get you clean. She had to get me away from you. Is she lying about that? So much you don't understand. Eh? Yeah. Try me. Mum's right about one thing. I was a total mess. But a lot of that was down to her. I wouldn't exactly say I had a happy childhood. You never met me dad, Harold. He was a miserable beggar, but so was my mum. And they barely spoke to each other. Doesn't sound like the worst childhood. Well, maybe not, but... I was an anxious, sensitive, only child. I wet the bed till I was ten. I used to try and hide the wet sheets from my mum, but... You can imagine her withering looks, and... Then we moved from Liverpool to Manchester, and... I was bullied at school. Mum just said I should grow a backbone and stand up to them, but... I never mentioned it again. By 12, I discovered booze, and that took the edge off it. I was less anxious. I... I even started to make friends. The wrong sort of friends, of course. You can guess the rest. By 15, I was a smackhead. And, of course, Mum and Dad found out and... Everything got very nasty. Then Dad died. Brain hemorrhage. Mum blamed me. She blamed you? She said it was all the stress I caused them. She actually spat in my face. You killed him, I'll never forgive you. Is it any wonder I got deeper into the gear? I ended up back in Liverpool in various squats and then on the streets. It was then that I found out I was pregnant. I could have got a termination, but I didn't. I wanted you. Not enough to get off the drugs away. Oh, I tried. I, I really tried, but... Nan. Nan said that you never wanted me. You never even tried to get clean. You only rang her because you was desperate. And when I was born, you wouldn't even look at me. You just wanted to go off and score. That's not true. Well, why would she say it? She said that because she hated me. And she wanted you to hate me too. No, no. She told you I was dead. What kind of a woman does that? She thought you were. Oh, not last September, she didn't. She got me off the progabalin. 
She knew I was clean, yet she still wanted you to think I was dead. I mean, to Tyrone, she even went to your wedding and said nothing, and nothing to me neither. Yeah, you didn't stay clean though, did you? Huh? Maybe she was trying to protect me from that. I didn't stay clean because I had nothing to stay clean for. If she'd have let us meet again, I wouldn't have got hooked. I was lost. I, I thought I had no one except a mother who was always trying to control me, and clearly you too. This is all a lot to take in. But now I'm off the drugs again. I've got a reason to stay that way. Because I want nothing more than to get to know you and my grandchildren. Please don't let my mother ruin it. Because she'll try. Oh. Thanks for the text. I can't imagine what she's been saying about me. Oh, you are fire. Consider that a blessing. Well, she's coming to stay with me. What? He's invited me to stay at the house with him for a bit. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. No. It's my house. I can do what I want. Yeah, but it was only yesterday that she stole money out of my handbag. Yes, to buy a ticket to hear my granddaughter sing. There were no tickets. It was free. What did you do with the money? It fell out your pocket, did it? Told you. I mean, you, you can't let her stay. What about the girls? Yeah, well, the girls are going to see Fizz. I was supposed to be going, but now I'm going to stay. But what about when they get back? <laughs> I mean, once you let Cassie stay, believe me... Right, eight, you're the... not controlling this anymore, OK? Oh, it, I'm not controlling anything. When would have been a good time to tell you? <laughs> I just tried to protect you both. I told her she'd say that. Oh, God, she's done a right number on you, hasn't she? I just told him the facts. The alternative facts. Right, I just... Want to get to know my mum, who you have deliberately kept from here. That's not too much to ask, is it? All right, all right, all right. If you're foolhardy enough to let her stay at your house, it's a good job you got me there, keeping an eye on her. Yeah, well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I think it's best you stay here. We want to get to know each other without you sticking your oar in. I, um... You, I'll tell you, big mistake. Yeah, well, maybe, you know maybe. That. But I have to find out for myself, don't I? Because I can't trust you to tell me the truth anymore, can I? <laughs> 